SGC here and we are back for a movie review. Yogisha mo target mo fumei no mama. Tsugi no hanko genba ni Shou Ichiryu Hotel ga yokoku sareta. Senryu sousa? Masaka, keiji ni o kyaku sama no taiyou saseru tsumori desu ka? <laughs> Masquerade Hotel! So, this is directed by Masayuki Suzuki, who worked with What's His Face in Hero, like the TV show and the movies. So, that's a plus. So, who, who, who am I talking about? Well, clearly, it's Takuya Kimura. You know, the most handsome S guy of Japan. So, um, this movie, Hotel Masquerade, Masquerade Hotel. It's、uh, written by Keigo Higashino. So, this、uh, was a novel adaptation and、uh, it stars Takuya Kimura, Masami Nagasawa, and who else did I recognize? We got Rin Ishikawa, she hardly said anything, Fumio Kohenada,、uh, oh, Takashi Ukuji, and a lot of other people. Oh, there's a, there is a lot of people. Shingo Tsurumi, he's in this.、Um, yeah, a lot of, lot, of, lot of people. So, what's this film about? Well, basically, it's、uh, three murder cases takes place in Tokyo.、Uh, numbers are left at the murder scenes, blah, blah, blah. And it tells where the next murder is going to happen. Investigation starts, and、uh, the next murder will be taking place at this hotel in Tokyo. So, to catch the killer, we have our handsome Takuya Kimura. Going undercover, and he works at the front desk. And we have Masa, Masami Nagasawa, who actually works at the hotel, and she has to train him, just make him look convincing that he actually works there. And they try to sort of, you know, solve the case, but at the same time, protect the clients and the guests, I mean. And that's basically the entire film. So, what did I think? Well, first off, seriously, Takuya Kimura, ooh! Like, he is just so cool. How he carries himself, how he's just like rugged, but at the same time, he can do the whole professional look. Like, the guy's like old, but he still got it. What is the equivalent? <sighs> Who is the equivalent of Hollywood? It's like an older version of Leonardo DiCaprio, but he's also in a pop group. Yes. But I don't know in terms of acting. Leo's probably got it. Masami Nagasawa, I haven't seen her since like the, the drama H2. That was a long time coming. Coolness is there. The camaraderie, the cast, the shots, really nice. But the thing that made me feel the most weird was the whole time I was thinking, how is this not a TV series? They break it down. We have some like false alarms in the beginning, but it's like really cool to learn. I think that's the biggest thing about me, anyways, with like the Japan like entertainment in terms of like drama or movie, is that they're very systematic in terms of teaching you the trade that the narrative is around. So I learned a lot of things being like a front desk hotelier and Yeah, so that's cool. But the actual mystery is kind of like, yeah. They, they hype it up so much. It's like a false alarm. Hype. False alarm. Hype. It gets a tad bit boring in terms of just you, you expect it. And when the twist happens, you're just like, oh, well, who else could have done it? Because that person has to be guilty. So that's why I feel like if they had, I don't know, like a. Eight episode, ten episode count of fleshing out all the side characters. I mean, they're rich in terms of characters. We have the cops. We literally know nobody except for our main lead and his like mentor, but yet they have this like weird relationship that everyone's sort of like jealous but hating on. But then there's also all the underlings or the bosses in the cop side, and that's interesting stuff. And on the other hand, you have like Nagasawa's like hotel crew of like underlings and higher people. So you gotta flesh that out, you know, throw n that in. But you made it into a movie, so things felt really like they're there, but they're not. Like it's just about the two of them. Like we got the boss teaching this like ungrateful cop who thinks he's all that. 
and then at the same time the cop is like oh i gotta deal with this like super high end thinking she's all that type of boss so there's that juxtapose of contrast and foiling yeah i think that was the thing that lacked the most was that it, there was no punch it just felt like these are like how long is this movie so this movie is 132 minutes so that's two hours plus minus credits beginning and end like that they chop it up in terms of these episodes where like this guy's coming in he might be it this guy might be it and i was actually more interested in the like the random people that showed up at the at the hotel than the actual murder case and i think that's just too bad and like I, that's why i sort of like again i'm saying if this was a tv show they could have fleshed that out yeah so like just what i said the cops the hotel crew the even the guests were fresh and lively with characters and they could have done anything and i would have just watched it because i was like cool like oh yeah remind me there's a mystery to solve but i'm more like engaged with the actual hoteling and all that stuff so yeah i think that's it what else is there to say you know they did their job well kimura is cool cool cool, cool. and uh like Masami Nagasawa is like foiling worked and it was a good just sort of like they, they bounced off each other well even though he's a much more experienced actor I think she held her own weight type of thing being around him so there's that like definitely I could have seen that if he would overact or like be, been much more better much better than her that would be a distraction but I feel like because he's like the lower like I'm learning the ropes you're the boss I think that sort of positioning of their like hierarchy is like helped in terms and I and I think like her character is very you know willpower humble all that good Japanese stuff so yeah that's it masquerade hotel definitely feel like again I'm gonna say could have been a tv series you know prove me wrong maybe it is a tv series I haven't really looked too much into it but yeah Kimura good stuff um and that's that so uh Keep watching, keep liking, and subscribe, and remember to share, because sharing is caring. And uh, that's it for this movie review for a Masquerade Hotel. Out.